And oh yeah, so platform encryption. We we wanted to bring up uh, some of the new stuff, right? So um, we talked really high level, like what is platform encryption in general. At a deeper level, um, there are different ways. To do, I love this slide. Thanks, uh, thanks, Emmett. Uh, so uh, there are some deeper things going on behind that key derivation process and the other stuff that we looked at before on the iceberg slide. And one of the big differences is that there's um, when you're dealing with encryption, there's something called an, an initialization vector, which is why you see the what's our vector vector picture down there. Um, but so there are ways to create what would be called a deterministic um, encryption scheme. In general, the way it works is that deterministic encryption has a static initialization vector. And what that means is that when we write the same value to the database, we're going to write the same ciphertext each time, which allows you to start doing some filtering. We do have some limitations when it comes to deterministic encryption on the platform encryption side. And the biggest thing is that you can start to use fields in some kinds of filters, like certain types of SQL queries, but um, really just direct matches. So does this thing do exactly equal this thing? Um, and the key is that it's case sensitive. And so in a lot of cases, what we're recommending people do with deterministic encryption is leverage it for fields that basically don't have letters in them. So whether it's a social security number or some kind of, or a phone number, things like that where comparisons can be more reliable um, and you don't have to worry about case sensitivity. So that's some of the new stuff coming down the pipe. A lot of people are starting to come to platform encryption now because the deterministic is possible. So we wanted to make sure that we talked about that a little bit. 